Montana. What's good, prima donnas? Back again today with another video, and I'm super excited about this one because today I'm gonna be giving you this super pretty, perfect for every day, soft glam makeup look. And this one is using nothing but full face drugstore affordable makeup, you guys. Y'all have been highly requesting this, and and if y'all seen my Ulta haul, y'all know I bought so many new drugstore products. So today's video is actually gonna be putting all of those products to the test, as well as showing you guys this really pretty, super Super simple, super easy, soft glam makeup. I love this look, you guys. This is honestly what I feel most comfortable in. And this look is just honestly so simple and so beginner friendly. So yeah, if you guys do enjoy this look, definitely give this video a big thumbs up as well as leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think of this look. Definitely hit that subscribe button before you go. That way you do not miss out on any of my uploads. And yeah, thank you all for watching. And until next time, guys. Bye! I zoomed in up close and personal so that way we can get started on the eyes. As you can already tell, my eyebrows is already filled in and they're on because we will be here forever and a day. But I did want to tell you guys what I use to fill in my eyebrows because it is kind of considered affordable but not necessarily drugstore because it is Morphe. Morphe you can find at Ulta which is where I found most of all of these products anyway. And honestly this Morphe eyebrow pencil is probably cheaper than most drugstore eyebrow pencils so it's still a steal. So so this is the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil, you guys. I love this brow pencil. It is literally only $5, you guys, and it is so good. It is so comparable to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I do have a new palette to share with you guys today, and it is from Makeup Revolution. If you guys did watch my Ulta haul. You guys know that I actually picked this up, and I was fiending to film with it. So finally, here is that video. So yeah, it is just like a really pretty like marble packaging. Super cute. And I believe the name of this palette is is the Forever Flawless Descendants palette. And I can't even believe that this palette is only $15, you guys, and you get this many beautiful shades. It's literally incredible. So yeah, this is what the palette looks like. Super cute. Um, this palette to me, honestly, just screams soft glam. So I want to do something in that nature today. I actually did try to film um, this video yesterday, but I don't know what was wrong with me. Like I literally could not sit down and film. I just was like so cranky and just not into it. And me, I cannot pump. To me, I cannot pump fake y'all. Like if y'all not about to get my real self i cannot sit here knowing that i'm in a bad mood and i'm mad cranky and then be like hi guys welcome to leslie's video today like you get what i'm saying like no i want to give you guys my authentic funny creative goofy self and if i'm not feeling it then girl i'm not feeling it i'm not filming i'm sorry i cannot force it like at all i know some people that can i know sometimes i can mask my emotions and then i'll just like zone out but as far as like a talk through, reviewing all these new products, like girl, no. Yesterday was just not it. So yeah, like I said, we're gonna be doing a soft glam look. So the first, um, actually gonna go in with a big fluffy brush and this shade right here called Sahara, which is a really pretty neutral color. I'm actually gonna take this on a big fluffy brush and I'm literally gonna diffuse this all over my lid as well as all over my crease. By the way, I am using a BH Cosmetics. This is their rose gold collection and this is the number five brush. And yeah, just gonna run this all over the crease. I mean, all over the, um, all over my lid and as well as throwing this into my crease as a transition shade. Okay, I had to lower the brightness down just a little bit so that way you can actually see like what we're doing. But yeah. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit of depth to the outer corner and for that, I'm gonna be taking that shade Grandeur, which is that really pretty brown right there. It's a little bit deeper and I'm gonna be taking a smaller brush. This is the Morphe M456 brush. Um, so I'm just gonna place this right here in this outer corner and girl, look at that pigment, okay. Makeup Revolution, I see you, girl. I see you. Oh wow, that shade just blended really nicely in the outer corner. You are seeing how effortless that was. Like I honestly hardly tried to blend 
and they kind of just like blend it on its own it's crazy wow that shade is super pretty lick that out as well too i'm actually just gonna change the shape of my eye girl i'm so indecisive it's crazy because i'm so indecisive you can fuck me but i'm wifey <laughs> it's gonna go for a rounded shape and now i just feel like i want to do a more like elongated shape you feel me i am gonna go in with the shade pearls which is a white shimmer i feel like that would look really really pretty in the inner corner so yeah i'm actually gonna just pop this in right there so yeah if you guys are wondering i am going first with this shade dry i'm not wetting it then you want to make sure that it's like fading up into the brown I like this a lot and I like where this is going now you can go in from here and go in and add your lashes but I am gonna be going in with a little bit of winged liner just to you know not make it so basic but honestly when I'm doing soft glam looks you really do not need a harsh wing liner but I feel like it will look kind of cute with this look so yeah this is the wet and wild mega liner I adore this liner this is hands down my favorite drugstore liner it is so amazing you guys it is matte black it does not smudge i even one time got drunk and slept with this and i remember jancis facetimed me in the morning and was like bitch what eyeliner did you wear because how is that shit still on and perfect and it was this one and i'm gonna just do a quick wing i'm gonna try to stay in focus for you guys because <laughs> All right, you guys, so my liner is on, and I know that I said I was going to do a nice little thin liner, but of course, girl, she a little thicky menage over here. Turned into a thick bitch. So, we're just going to leave it, but anyway, moving on. I did want to show you guys what lashes I have because I do have some drugstore lashes to share with you guys. The lashes that I'm going to be wearing today are from I Envy. So, yeah, these are their Extension Curl Collection in the shade 03 so these are what they look like super cute and wispy they look really long and like really curly i love kiss lashes you guys like my favorite kiss lashes are the iconic ones you guys if y'all ogs of my channel y'all know that i fuck with those my hard body so this is my first time trying the extension c curl collection but i find these really really pretty and if you guys are wondering i did find these in my local beauty supply store thing that i wanted to mention that is totally drugstore as well is the eyelash glue that i actually use every single day for every single look and it is also from i envy as well and this is their super stronghold now do not judge because she is disgusting looking but yeah this is what my lash glue looks like i know girl do not not judge me but this actually has a little applicator where you can actually easily just put this on your lash band and I like it because it dries clear and I never have any issues when I use that lash glue as my lashes are sitting there drying because you want to give them a minute to dry I am now gonna pop on my mascara so for mascara today I will be using essence which you can find at Ulta and these mascaras they have a whole bunch of different colors that do different things I love of the green one which is the lengthening one and this one i believe is the full oh the sculpted volume so this one is going to give you volume which is the purple one i've been really liking this one lately i kind of switch back and forth between this one and the green one but yeah this is just the one that i'm going to be using today and these mascaras are so amazing i love the brush on them and i also love the formula it is so good and you guys these mascaras are literally like three four dollars like you cannot go wrong all right, you guys, so for the face, we are going to start off with primer, obviously. And I actually have two primers as well. If you see my haul, you know what these are. NYX Cosmetics just came out with two new primers, and it is the Bear With Me Collection. Now, they originally have a Bear With Me primer spray, but this is the new one that actually is infused with cannabis seed oil. So, yes, cannabis weed. You're probably like, why do people need cannabis in their skincare? But there is an ingredient in cannabis that is super helpful and 
and amazing for your skin so if you guys just read the back of it it'll tell you all of the good stuff that cannabis actually does this is their revitalize and set multitasking spray so you can use this as a primer as a revitalizer as well as a setting spray but i personally like to use this as a primer also did come out with the bear with me daily moisturizing primer which looks like this and this is like an actual moisturizer this one has a spf of 30 which is sunscreen you never want to neglect putting on sunscreen underneath your makeup because the sun is so harsh and so damaging for your skin and this one also is infused with the cannabis seed oil as well love the packaging on it it is like so nice and like really good quality and this pump is actually pretty huge this is what it looks like it honestly just feels and looks like a sunscreen wow okay Moving on to foundation, NYX Born to Glow foundation. This foundation is so amazing, you guys. I love this. This, to me, honestly, is like a dupe for the Fenty Hydrating Foundation. So I also wanted to show you guys what beauty sponge I'm using because the sponges I'm using are also super affordable and are from the drugstore. So today I'm going to be using the Complexion Sponge Trio from e.l.f. It comes like this. I did take the big sponge out and I did go ahead and wet it. And as you guys can see, it turns huge. And she is super squishy and bouncy. Honestly, since I started fucking with e.l.f. sponges, I do not use the Real Technique sponges no more. Girl, I am so sorry, but ever since I discovered these sponges those real technique sponges are literally like fucking rocks no shade because real techniques is a great brand but i honestly thought those those sponges were popping until i found something so much softer and better so they do have different sponges this one i think is the um total complexion face sponge it is like a burgundy purple color this is dry so it does um, grow in size as well. But as you guys can see, she's dirty. I literally have three of them and they're all dirty right now because I literally use them every day. So I was like, you know what? I want to be a little bougie today and use a new sponge. So I did just grab this one out of the pack. And this one is just as great. This one just doesn't have that angle that I love so much in the other e.l.f. sponge. But yeah, we are going to be using her today. Yeah, honestly, this foundation didn't like just come out. It's not like od new this one kind of been in the drugstore for a while but this one is a newer foundation as far as like the as far as like in the nyx family so i still feel like it's a pretty newer foundation i'm just gonna do one side really quickly just so that way you guys can actually see the finish and how this foundation looks i'm also showing you guys how it blends out honestly it does not dry super quickly it is so nice and like illuminating it gives the skin i don't know if you guys can see even on my cheek it gives the skin a nice natural glow which is the perfect name born to glow <laughs> for this foundation like it honestly is a really natural pretty glowy foundation okay so the foundation looks beautiful now i'm gonna move on to concealer for concealer i'm gonna be using my favorite at the moment this is the elf hydrating camo concealer now make sure you get the one with the white top because the black top is the matte one so yeah that one has a completely different formula so i am using the shade medium peach you guys see how pretty that concealer just blended i love this concealer so much you guys it is so easy to work with now to set my concealer i'm going to be using the makeup revolution this is their loose setting powder this is talc free, no flashback, and also water resistant. And I do have mine in the shade medium yellow. Okay, so that's what the powder looks like. Yeah, being that this is a soft glam look, I'm not gonna be doing no cream contouring or anything like that. We're actually just trying to do a quick, easy, everyday like makeup. This is actually a really nice setting powder for underneath the eyes. It is not a complete matte finish. Um, so it does not that it has shimmer or sheen or anything to it. It actually just has a nice natural finish um, So it doesn't look drying or anything under the eyes, which is really pretty now to set the rest of my face I'm gonna be using this LA girl pro face powder. This one is in the shade nude babe Moving on to bronzer this one is new. This one is from Hard Candy. This is their Just Glow Matte Bronzer infused infused with mango butter. So once I seen that this had mango butter, I was like, 
girl what because that sounds so delicious um so yeah obviously mango butter is gonna glide onto the skin and actually not give you like a patchy ugly you know streak of bronzer so i'm pretty sure this is probably gonna go on super smooth and pretty see i don't see like a shade name or anything it just says 1792 so i'm not sure if they have different shades this is a nice natural bronzer not necessarily as warm as i like my bronzers so this is more of like a natural pretty everyday bronzer honestly more perfect for this look sometimes i'll be odian with the bronzer so as that's you know doing its thing i'm gonna move on to a blush so the blush i'm gonna be using today is the new wet and wild blush in the shade nudist society and i know this is nothing new for ya it is a new blush for wet and wild but i know y'all seen this on my channel because this is my go-to everyday blush i love this blush and i love that it's so affordable this is just the perfect tone because it's not too much in your face it has a very natural undertone and it literally just goes perfect with every single look like you literally cannot go wrong with this blush I'm gonna jump back into the palettes and i'm actually gonna go back in with that shade right there called grand door and this is going to be the only shade that we're going to be running on our lower lash line okay so moving on to highlighters i do have two new highlighters these are from makeup revolution i also did mention these in my haul i am going to be using this one today this one is in the shade um just my type which is a more like golden shade the other one is more like a rose gold so yeah this is what the highlighter looks like before we put this on i'm actually going to really quickly um set my face this is the i love revolution so thank you guys for putting me on i didn't know that i love revolution is actually a sister brand to makeup revolution this was actually exclusive to ulta online so i found this online but yeah this was super pineapple brightening makeup spray and this legit smells like pineapple fanta soda it's amazing yeah now i'm gonna go in with the highlighter do you guys see how pretty that highlighter looks on camera honestly the packaging is so nice Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> wow guys so last but not least is the lips for liner i am gonna be using the morphe lip liner this one is in the shade sweetheart if you guys have not tried morphe liners girl you're definitely sleeping on them they're i think five dollars but they're honestly my favorite hands down favorite lip liners i love the shade spiffy but in today's look we are going to be using sweetheart which is my second fave so this is the liner and now for my liquid lipstick this one is new to the wet and wild family this is their liquid catsuit this one is the matte one so they also have glosses naked catsuit glosses and then they also have their naked catsuit matte liquid lipsticks so this is the matte one and this one is in the shade nudie patootie i love this shade because it is more of like a cooler type of um liquid lipstick is not like super warm as you guys can see it like looks a little gray so you definitely do not need a lot and then i do like to top it off with the nyx suede matte lipstick and this one is in the shade dainty days i probably wear this lipstick every day this is my go-to lipstick And then I'm just gonna blend everything in, of course, with my fingers. And then last but not least, I am just gonna give my face one last final spray with the pineapple setting spray again. Oh my God, I honestly just wanna keep using this because I love the smell of it. It literally smells amazing. All right, you guys, so this is the finished makeup look using nothing but drugstore affordable products. I honestly am obsessed with my makeup today. I think it looks so pretty and just perfect, soft, glam. This is perfect for beginners, perfect for every day. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Give this video a big thumbs up if you guys do want more drugstore makeup videos. And yeah, thank you all for watching. And until next time, guys, bye.